So we're just gonna go through the triads first. We already have major, which is one, three, and five of the scale. And we stack it and it looks like that. Our C major chord has C, E, and G. The next one we're gonna go over is a minor triad. You could, if you know your minor scale, you could just take one, three, and five of the minor scale. Chances are you don't know all your minor scales probably as well as your major. And even if you do, you really should know how they're related to each other, how the major is different from the minor. So what you see there's a flat here. We still have one, three, five, but instead we had flat. Now, if you remember when we talked about relative minor scale or making our major scale minor, we had lowered the third, six, and seven. So it makes perfect sense that when we have the chord, we don't have to worry about that because those aren't actually in our triad. Only the third is going to be affected. This flat you see here is a verb because it happens before the number, which means it's going to lower the third by a half step. Make sure that you understand that distinction. It doesn't mean we're gonna make it a flat, although in this case, we are. So two little abbreviations, the way that you might see your chord are C with a small m or C with a dash. So we already built our major triad, which we know is one, three, and five from our major scale. And those are letters C, E, and G. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our minor chord. So now we need to lower the third, which means that we're gonna end up with an E flat. So let's go put it in here and I'll show you on the keyboard as well. Make sure you put it before the note to show that we're gonna lower that note and then after the letter to show that that is E flat, not E. So that's what it looks like. Let's go take a look at it on the keyboard. So here's our C. This was our regular C chord, our major C chord. Now we're gonna make it minor, so we're taking this third. Remember, we're talking about the third note of the scale, not third finger. There's a lot of duplicate numbers in music, so just be careful. And there we go. We lowered the third and it became E flat. So we took this triad from our D major scale. Remember that there was a sharp on the third note and the seventh note. It only affects our third in this chord, so there's D major. And in order to make it minor, we are now gonna lower this F sharp. And when we lower it, it becomes a natural. So that's D minor.